This is the newer stabilizer. This is the box that the stabilizer came with. Here's what's on the outside of the box. As you can see, just a few details here and there, and some picture of the stabilizer. Not much else is on, on the box itself. Inside the box, you get the stabilizer, and they thank you, pamphlet, for purchasing the product. I wish there were some instructions with the uh, product, as I believe it would be helpful. What I love about the stabilizer is the foldability of it, as it can be easily stored when you aren't out on the location filming, or you just want to keep it in your home. It's just very easy, you can just fold it up. With the folding, you can fold the top parts of it um, by unscrewing the little screw there and just gently rotate it down 90 degrees. Um, the only problem I can find with this screw is if you unscrew it too much, the thing can pop out and it'll be really hard to pop it back in. With the stabilizer, you can use it with a single hand or you can use it with a double hand. To make it into a double handed stabilizer, all you need to do is slide the handle into the two little attachment clips that is on the bottom and on the top. In my opinion, I feel that this is the part that could break easily, as I feel the handle is a bit hard to attach onto the clip, and also it's quite hard to remove the handle um, from the stabiliser itself, but that could be because I haven't used it much yet. The material itself is quite decent as the handles are made with EVA foam which are very comfy um, I must admit and I um, actually like the uh, grip that's on the bottom of the stabilizer well. Look at the uses of the stabilizer. Well of course the stabilizer is suitable for DSLR cameras but not only that it can be used for compact cameras and action cameras like the GoPro and because of the standard uh, 1 4 inch thread um, uh, of course that you know you can just use it on be nearly anything and also um, the ball head adapter means that you can attach anything like accessories as much as you want such as like lights and microphones and um, I think I put my yeah I think I put the lights and a microphone in mine um, also because the stabilizer is only weighing 400 grams it's very light to carry there are also a lot of neat features with the stabilizer that wasn't promoted when I purchased it. Firstly, the stabilizer can be placed on a tripod. And secondly, there is a spirit level on the stabilizer, which is a kind of neat feature for people who are a bit picky with, you know, on the exact stabilization of this product. Overall, I believe this is a great little product to buy. It's light, sturdy and does the job well. I would recommend this product to a newbie in photography or filmography, or just anyone who's on a budget, or like a tight budget, probably about £30 I'd say. Um, with this I would give it about 4 out of 5 stars. Um, I the, personally, I wouldn't give it more than 4 because of the material and because it's so cheap you know it's going to break eventually. So what do you think about this product? Or would you just spend a few more cash to get a better one? Or would you just be fine with this cheap alternative? So, until next time, see you soon.